people will recognize you maybe from Instagram because you put those freaky videos of your back and your traps and your shoulders, those crazy shoulders of yours. But um, yeah. can you, now, but I'm not. yeah, I mean, mate, honestly, your shoulders. I mean, how many times have you been accused of putting Photoshop on your shoulders? Oh, synthol all the time. Yeah. Oh, synthol. Okay, as well. Yeah, main thing, synthol. I'm like, do people even use that anymore? I don't know. Like, yeah. Do, but no, I haven't done any of that. It's just, uh, uh, I guess I just have a really good mind muscle connection with my back and my shoulders. Mm. Um, I can literally train like crap, like sloppy form, just throw weight around and they'll grow. Mm. So my legs are a different story. I have to really kind of like focus on feeling the contractions and the uh the stretch yeah uh, whereas like delts and, and back i mean i can just throw a weight on there rep it out and they'll get sore and they'll grow i mean going back to your shoulders um because I, I i to be honest i've seen photos and it, it does look like they've been photoshopped but i know they haven't because i saw that i've seen you post the video of it and it's it's just That's what i have do now yeah yeah I, you don't you get to post, post the video along with the picture so people won't say it's photoshop so. <laughs> the thing is though it's like i've seen because i put a comment on a on a thread um on md the other week and i said guys please stop shooting your side shoulders because it doesn't it, it looks great in the front maybe the front most muscular but when you do the rear double bicep or a side chest or a quarter turn there's that shine to the side and but because the thing is with your shoulders you've got detail and if you were shooting your shoulders full of crap there would be no detail Ray, it would probably be like weird angles too. It wouldn't be as round, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> it's I'm, a weird phenomenon. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I have looked at your your uh, rear double bicep shots. I've really looked closely, and I can see that there's you know you can see the three. The, the, I think the telltale sign is when they do a rear double bicep, and all the shoulders are just one big head. There's actually three heads to the shoulders, not one. Each one. I, I take care when I'm training to uh, take proper uh, intensity with all three. Um, like I see a lot of guys, they'll put everything into side delts. They'll do like really heavy overhead press mm. and then maybe like on a cable machine do some rear delts and then call it a day, you know, mm. but my training for shoulders is, is, uh, mostly just free weights. I'd say about 90% free weights. Okay. And I probably do the same routine over and over and over again. <laughs> it's just yeah. lap dumbbell or raises from different angles and uh, usually maybe like a Smith machine overhead press, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay then. So let's talk a little bit at your, um, for people who aren't familiar with you, uh, your contest history. Let's go a little bit over the, over the highlights and when you turn pro and, and that sort of okay. thing. Uh, well, I first started competing in October of 2015, so I'm really kind of... Wow. I've been in the game for too long. Uh, people don't realize that. <laughs>